Hello everyone, welcome back. This is a new lecture in your course, Git and GitHub by Adionix. My name is Ahmed and in this section we are discussing GitHub and how to deal with GitHub using the command line tool that we have installed in this, at the start of this section, which is called Hub. In the previous lecture, we have explained how to make changes or how to suggest changes to a project on GitHub where you do not have write access or commit access to. And we said that you can either just issue a pull request directly to the project or you can fork the project first and do whatever changes or whatever tests you need to do on your local github account and then issue a pull request out of that forked version of the project to the project owner to merge this branch or to merge those changes to the project in this lab we are going to see how we can use the hub command line tool to automate this or not to automate it actually in order to work with this on your command line instead of just instead of having to make that by visiting the github website so in order to work with this lab, we are going to create a new branch to host the changes that we think it should be merged to the master branch of the greeter project. So let's go to our greeter project. This is the greeter project. And let's say that this project is already hosted on GitHub and it is already actually hosted on GitHub. And let's say that we want to make a pull request. Let's say that we don't have the right access to commit changes to the greeter project on GitHub. And we think that there, there is a change that should be made to this project. So the first thing we're going to do is that we are going to create a new branch to host our changes. And here we are free to use either Git or Hub. Let's use Hub in order to prove the fact that Hub works the same as Git with enhanced features and added options. So Hub or Git, check out minus B, and let's call this PR red heading. Actually, in this branch, we are going just to color the heading of the website with a red color instead of the default black one okay and as you can see here it gave us the same output that a get checkout minus b will give us switch it to a new branch pr hyphen red heading now have us have a look at index.html this is our index.html and this is the place where we have our hello stringlets at style equals color red and what this is doing effectively is that it's changing the color of the heading that read hello to be in red. Let's have a look at this in our browser to see if it works. Okay, and as you can see here, we have hello colored in red instead of the default black color. Now, we need to commit those changes. So hub add index to HTML. Hub commit minus M the heading color to red okay now it committed the change now it's time to push this changes to our remote repository so hub push minus u to set the upstream branch origin pr heading and we are going to force those changes because i have already did that in preparation of this lab so those changes are already there so i'll have to use the minus f to force pushing those changes to the remote repository okay now they are in a remote repository in our remote repository in a branch called pr red heading and all the above commands have been done using hub and actually they could have been done equally using git so so far we did nothing new we just replaced git with hub in order to prove that hub is the same as git now let's use one of hub improvements or one of the features that only hub command line tool offers which is the pull request so let's issue hub pull request like this and what is this going to do is that it will going to notify the administrator of the greeter project in case it wasn't ours actually we are pretending that we do not have right access to the master branch so we have created a new branch called pr hyphen red heading and we are just notifying the administrator or whoever has the right access to the master branch of the greeter that we want to make this change to the repository. We just want to, we want to change the heading, we want to change the color of the hello heading to be red instead of a default black. So this can be done either by visiting the github.com website and issuing a pull request, or it can be done locally here from our machine using the hub command line tool followed by the pull hyphen request subcommand and of course we'll need to add our credentials again 
like this and I'll have to write a message to be written to the pull request we're gonna leave it to this default change it the heading color to red save it and now a pull request has been created and here we have the URL of the pull request now let's first have a look at github let's have a look at our account at github where greeter is hosted let's log in as our username and password and let's have a look at greeter and as you can see here i'll have a new pull request here if you click on that you will have changed the heading color to red and this is the url that have been mentioned in the command line tool here now you see the power of the hub command line tool is that you can use it in shell scripts for example to automate the repetitive tasks you can put this in a, in a shell script for example that will automatically create pull requests for like, let's say bugs or new improvements that needs to be added to a project you don't have to go to github.com and create a pull request on your own you can just issue that command and it will quickly do the heavy lifting for you and create a pull request if you have a look here we're gonna see that this is the title that we chose for our pull request this is the commit message change it the heading color to red and as you can see here there is place for comments to be added you can add a comment here you can add more comments and so on and if you are the administrator of this project of course this account is the administrator of this repository you can click on this button merge pull request and this will merge this pull request this branch it will merge it with the master branch so what is a pull request basically a pull request is just another branch we have studied branches before this is just a special type of branch that is offered by github as a way to enhance workflow with developers around the world with the open source community it allows you to create a branch where all other people all other developers can contribute to by adding their comments or adding their comments to the project and only the person who has the right to merge those requests or merge those changes to the master branch can issue a merge pull request to merge this branch to the master branch so this way anybody around the world can contribute to any open source project that is publicly hosted on github by issuing a pull request with the desired changes or improvements or bug fixes that he or she deems necessary to any github project and that brings us to the end of this lab and to the end of the lecture. In the coming lecture, we are going to see how we can create a slightly more advanced technique for suggesting changes, which is that we are going to fork a request first using the help command line tool. And then we are going to make a pull request out of this fork request. So see you next.